And this is interesting. I'm, I'm kind of excited for this series. I was excited for the series. One, I didn't do a lot of research on it. Oh, same here. I, I didn't want to, you know. Oh, I just wanted to kind of approach it with right. like a fresh set of eyes and yeah. Just get into it. But I did look at least at the history of the, what it was based on, just so I knew where it was coming from. Didn't read much about what happened in the individual stories. But what's cool is that this isn't really based off a novel or some mm -hmm. big new YA book or some yeah. book like Game of Thrones that like millions of people have read. I mean, people have read it. But it is based off of these uh, 19th century, um, what they used to call them serials, like David yeah. Copperfield and things like that, that release little chunks, a little mystery here, a little mystery there, and produce some very interesting characters. You might know, uh, you know Sweeney Todd, yes. the barber of Seville. Uh, that's a character from this story. Jack the Ripper. Yeah, is Jack the Ripper is mentioned in this. Uh, and again, we're going to spoil so i mean if you haven't seen it you know go on showtime.com go on the youtube page watch the episode it's free yeah. you don't have to pay anything for it so go ahead and watch it now and come back and watch this review um and it's really interesting it's kind of like uh a goon squad like ghostbusters <laughs> or like <laughs> supernatural bit, yeah. show like yeah. they're gonna go off and fight these monsters so let me just go through the main cast real quick just to mention yeah. so we got timothy dalton yes uh mr james bond himself <laughs> Uh, we got Eva Green yeah. as Vanessa Ives. I'm sorry, Timothy Dalton has played Sir Malcolm. We have Josh Hartnett is back. The heartthrob back. himself. It's been a while. It's been a while, been a while. since the days of his uh, <laughs> you know, chick flick <laughs> movies, but he is back. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks the same, actually. Pretty much. This young guy named uh, Harry Treadaway, uh, who plays Dr. Victor Frankenstein, which is yeah. the big reveal at the end because you mm -hmm. don't know his name. So... I guess we'll go into detail, but like just start for first, uh, you know, first impressions. What are your first mm. impressions of this show? Well, again, like we said earlier and stuff, I just kind of wanted to approach this. I kind of got a, a little idea of what it would be right, about and stuff, right. but I just wanted to enjoy it for what mm -hmm. it was worth. And I was really impressed. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Like you said, it did kind of like I thought of shows like Supernatural and just things like that. that yeah, it's like yeah. kind of you can tell that they want to have fun with this, but right. it's not. It's not corny. It's not over the top or anything like that. Um, I thought all the performances were really well done. Even I Hartnett. Thought, I was impressed with Hartnett. I yeah, he, he really held good. his own. Yeah. Um, personally, I really loved Eva Green yeah, in this episode. Did, yeah. I thought, right. A, her character has a lot to offer. You right. don't know too much about her. Mm -hmm. I mean, the episode starts off where this little girl's in bed, yeah. and I'm assuming that's assuming probably... that's her character. Her, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming. Guess. And I'm assuming that's her mother that goes into, like, uh, the restroom and whatnot, gets abducted by who knows Be careful what, when you use a restroom in the middle of the night. Careful. <laughs> Be careful. You don't know what's <laughs> lurking. But uh, so I'm assuming that's her. So, like, yeah. and we see, like, you know, there, there are moments when she's praying in front of the cross yeah. and stuff, and she's just like... And I feel that she owns every mm -hmm. scene that she's in, at least in this episode right. so far. And, again, I feel like of all the characters, she has the most... To offer, right. but uh, everyone you know really held their own, and this guy played uh, Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. Like I, we didn't know until the very yeah, end of the episode him. who he yeah. was, but uh, he was really impressive. Was I thought his character was good. His acting was just right. like on par with everyone else, which is a good thing. And I like I know we're jumping to the end here a little bit, but I love the the Frankenstein reveal because. Yeah. You know, Frankenstein, you know, the book isn't really, you know, gory and horror. I mean, it's it's got, it's got graphic, but it's not like, you know, raw. Yeah. I mean, he's like a really intense. So it was kind of nice that they made that Frankenstein moment. Like, they set it up as it going to be really scary. Yeah. But then it was really intimate. Like, the whole it, touch it, of the face. It was yeah. very quiet. It wasn't, like, Leading wow. up to that, it was a little cliche. Oh, yeah, he kept, like, like he kept going, going down, down and coming going back up. Right. <laughs> and everything gets dark and right. the lights come back right. on he's gone. But, no, you're absolutely right. right. That was really well mm -hmm. done. Um, and then, like, again, we get mentions of uh, Jack the Ripper's mentioned yeah, in this. Yeah. And also, they're vampires, so... But I like that they don't call them that. They don't, no. They call it, they call it the creature. Yeah. Or a creature, like, hey, do you have a creature like mm. this? Which is cool. And the way it's shot is great. This was interesting. I did do research just on the creators. So, John Logan mm -hmm. wrote this. And he's going to write what looks like on IMDb, at least, all of the episodes. It's only going to be okay. eight. John Logan wrote the screenplay for Skyfall. And you have Sam Mendes, who's the executive Absolutely. producer. So you basically have the whole Skyfall team. And you have Timothy Dalton, who wasn't in Skyfall, <laughs> but you have a former James Bond. So, uh, for those of you who are curious, John Logan also wrote Gladiator. He also wrote Sweeney Todd with Johnny Depp. Uh, and, of course, you have the musical. So, I mean, there's all it, – it's – it's really good. It's only going to be eight episodes. I'm, yeah. I'm Showtime, you know, HBO Showtime, there were new stuff like in two days. So hopefully yeah. once it premieres, hopefully they'll renew it instantly. But I really like this. Also, like yeah. the mood was, it's it's really dark. Like, we watched it kind of in yeah. a darker room and it was like, it was dark. Like everything's dark in this show. Very dark, very gory. Absolutely. Yeah, like so a lot if you're, of, yeah. you're a little squeamish, squeamish just yeah. prepare yourself. Right, right. But uh, yeah, overall, like you said, like the tone just felt yep. right for mm -hmm. what you're gonna do, and that's why it's not. It, that's why I thought of shows like you know, like Supernatural, whatever, yeah, like yeah. Buff, But it's not right. campy at, at all. No, no, you know. No but it's it. it's so well done. I thought the acting was great. It's shot well. It's, right. it's beautiful. And I know yeah. we were talking about this too, like shows like Showtime shows yeah. and stuff. Like yeah. Kind of feel like you're watching a movie and stuff. And this right. definitely had that feel. I mean, not just the cast, but just mm -hmm. everything about it. Yeah, great direction. Looked great. I mean. 
I, I really, in a guy who I don't really know much about, even though he's popular, Timothy Dalton. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know him from James Bond. I know he's done other things. He's yeah. been around for years, but he was really good. He's a little, he's acting in this. Like, you can see <laughs> yeah. he's acting, but he's doing it in a good way. Like, this yeah. is one scene that we, Mike and I both cracked up on when uh, Eva Green, Vanessa Ives, her character comes in and says, and, uh, Dal Dalton says, we have an appointment. <laughs> and then Eva Green's like, where are we going? He's like, amongst dead things. <laughs> like, as dark and as British as you yeah. can do it. And he's really acting, but he's doing a good job. I yeah. like the cast. Absolutely. Another character didn't mention is this um, Egyptian, uh, yeah. he, he can translate hieroglyphics. He yeah. was really over the top, but cool. And I was just going to mention that too, because yes, the show is dark, it's yeah. a little gory, but it has fun moments as well. But right. I can't remember his name. Yeah, I don't remember his name but, either. But, I mean, he was a lot of fun. That's actually yeah. a little more of a right. lighthearted scene, you know, right. given like, you know, what they're talking about or whatnot. But he was really good. I wish, I need to remember his yeah, name. I can't remember <laughs> his name. Back. But he was um, really funny, and he was really, well. I'm, I'm, I hope to see him a little bit more. We also know, now granted, we didn't, I don't believe we saw him in the first episode, but other characters like Dorian Gray, Yes. So the cool thing about the show is it's almost like a Van Helsing tale where yeah. they can kind of throw whatever mythological beast or creatures or, you know, mythology they wanted to throw in. They can do whatever they want, basically, yeah. which is cool. There's no limits because it was just based off of the serials, which, which is great. for Mike and I reviewing here, I don't know about what Mike thinks, but I know Dennis and I, we review Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. It can be a little stressful sometimes because there's so many fans of the book. I read the book, but I'm not as passionate maybe as some fans yeah. who, like, are so, like, like, this is the way it is, this is the way it's supposed to be. Whereas no, I doubt there's, right. I'm sure there's some of you out there who have read the serials, but probably fewer people that have gone back and read 19th century yeah. serials on Penny Dreadful. So it's a little bit nice just to come to something yeah. fresh. That's a good point, Not a lot though. of pressure behind this show. Yeah, it's because like, just watch it. Yeah. Same thing with shows like The Walking Dead and stuff, and right. you compare it to, like, Big the comics base. and this. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right. But it's like it kind of handcuffs itself a little right. bit because mm -hmm. it's like you don't want to veer too far off the books because right. then you're going to get people, fans of the books all, like, right. you know, you know, crime, bloody murder, or whatnot. But right. no, it, that's true. It's good. And the nice thing is, too, just one more thing I want to say. I like the monsters so far. They're not pretty. This is not going to be true blood. I doubt this is going to turn into a melodrama soap opera. Like this is not sexy vampires. Like they, <laughs> there's vampires that look kind of weird. No like, twilight. Yeah, no, no twilight. twilight. Like they here. look weird. So I like that we're getting back to the monsters. I think yeah. FX is doing a show called The Strain that Guillermo del Toro is doing. That's going to be like that too. So you know, hey, it's the monsters are still here. It's still in. It's still around. But. Those were our thoughts on the uh, Penny Dreadful premiere. We really liked it. Again, you can check it out for free right now. The first episode, maybe it might convince you to subscribe to Showtime. Maybe not. Um, but uh, as always, you can come chat with us at thinkhero.com. Uh, you can also check us out on this YouTube page at Think Hero Pro. Be sure to like, subscribe, you know, comment. You know, uh, try to get, get back to those comments as soon as we can. Uh, also, uh, we're on Twitter. Uh, Dennis, Michael, and myself are all on at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin DE. And I'm at Mr. Michael Alexis. We also have a Facebook page, and that's facebook.com slash Think Hero fans. Be sure to subscribe, or sorry, you know, give us a like and spread the word. Social media helps us a lot. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy Pretty Dreadful.